Hey everybody, Cranky Stacker. I just wanted to do a real quick video tonight. I did a, uh, well I had a quick pickup today at, at, uh, today? I guess, yesterday at the LCS. Anyway, um, it wasn't too much, but, um, I got some, some of my favorites. I got, uh, picked up a few peace dollars. This is a 1923. I just got a few. Um, bring it up a little bit. There we go. 1923. I really, really liked the toning on that. 1923 piece. Nice piece. I got me a 1924 piece. These are all just thrown in the in the um, bargain bin, and I just kind of like you know me and my old coins. Here's a 1925. There's a little notch out of there, so I got a 23, 24, 25. Um, I like this one, even though it had the big notch out of it. Um, some sort of a toning on the side on the back side that I'm not too sure about and I know I pointed this out but for you guys um, maybe in the UK who aren't real familiar with the US currency the the U in the trust in God we trust let me see if I can get a better shot of that there we go in God we trust and down here Use my Thule tool. Down here, the trust is a V. And uh, I think I said this in a video the other day, but that was the uh, that was done by design to uh, indicate victory after World War One. So then I got uh, pretty nice 1926. Um, but I got a question for you. I, you know, my my LCS guy is really good to me all the time, but um, he's still at twenty nine times face. This was a kind of expensive afternoon. Um, and then I got another nineteen twenty six. But I'm I'm seeing people with lower uh, lower faces out there, lower times face on uh, constitutional. And uh, my guy said, you know, why? Why? Um, I'm selling it. Um, once it's gone, it's gone. Um, it's his kind of line of thinking. And I guess I can see that. He's there to make money. But uh, anyway, I'm still going to be doing my Canadian and my British. There's my Sherlock Holmes, making sure I don't misplace him again. Here's my Winston Churchill. Um... This came from Stack Collector. Stack. Uh, thanks for that. It reminded me, like I told you, it looked like my father before he passed. So he's kind of, kind of always sitting. Uh, going to be sitting close, one spot or another. Um, watching over my uh, my half crowns, my florins, and my fifty p's. Um, so along with this, I uh, I did, uh, well, I'll get to this here in just a minute. I got the, the older coins, and I got to tell you, there's that when I put out a challenge, not a challenge, but said, you know, what one of my videos said, what's, what's your oldest coin? And mine was the Ottoman Empire, like 1255. And I learned something about the dating on those coins from one of the channels that, uh, that, watched the video and commented on it and um I, I have to tell you i have not been so impressed um with the knowledge this guy has on this channel the channel is called addicted to minis and loving it 3912 or if you go on youtube and say addicted addicted to minis and loving it um i'll try and put a link in the bottom to a video that he did to uh, basically 
show me his oldest coin and i gotta tell you this guy knows his coins and he had some things in there they're just phenomenal it's about a 19 minute video and stack collector you are gonna absolutely love this video from this guy um he's he's it, i can't even describe it. it it was fabulous and the channel again was addicted to minis and loving it um and you'll know if you got the right video or not at first, because the first intro is just like basically a shot of his cat's ass, which back in the old days we used to say, you know, instead of saying the cat's pajamas or the cat's meows, or that's really neat, which those two are synonymous with, back in my high school days we kind of acted like rebels and said, man, that's the cat's ass. That just meant it was the best. And uh, it, that, was, that was the best shout-out best answer video um that i've i've ever had and it was so cool he he was very humble in the thing and said i um messaged me and said i hope you know i responded with a video and i hope i don't um upset you and by no means was i upset i i absolutely love this guy's channel and um we subbed each other for a day now and i'm i'm looking really really looking forward to catching up on his videos he's incredible so having said that i'll try and leave a link to that video in the bottom you have got to watch the video it's incredible um i, I just i was just blown away just uh just incredibly good and i've said incredible uh, an incredible amount of time so i'm going to stop saying that for now um, and then I had, uh, just something, one, one other thing here real quick, you know, hey, Chuck Stacks, look at what I got here. I got my, uh, my Chinese nickel. I bought this, uh, <laughs> I bought this off of Amazon for $9.99, knowing that this could not possibly be, and it's an extremely misleading, um, and in fact, it even said three nines fine silver on the paper. Um, it says in the, I guess in the fine work, fine print on the page, maybe somewhere. I never did see it, but somebody said they saw it. Maybe a stack in the south or whatever, who also did a great video on this. Uh, but um, that is not three nines fine silver. So this is kind of my joke. Uh, this is my Chinese nickel here that uh, Chuck Stacks and I kind of go back and forth on sometimes. But I had a question, really, and maybe uh, somebody can answer this for me. Um, I was sold this. Well, sold. I picked it up at a pawn shop. I saw it. It was pretty shiny. It's a 1945. Uh... 1945 Walker, Liberty Half, um, and it just, it was fantastic looking, you know, and the, the the older I get and the little bit more grown up I get, I thought, well, God, maybe that's a, like a proof or something, they don't know it, but um, I'm just wondering if maybe somebody could tell me if there is something to this, because really, the magnet, it doesn't ping, I get one frequency on the pinging, and the magnet, see, you can see it slides right down. And I, I don't know. I don't know what to think of this. I don't know what it is. The magnet doesn't, like, stick to it like the Chinese nickel, but I don't know what it is. So, see, it barely hangs on. So maybe somebody can tell me what I've got here. It's, uh, it's a brilliant finish. Um... But I don't know what it is. But since I paid uh, 26 times face, I'm I'm thinking if somebody can tell me what this is, if it's not uh, the real deal, then I'm going to wind up taking that back to the coin shop. So, um, well, the pawn shop. And uh, talk to the guy seriously about what this is and what I paid. Maybe I can at least get my, uh, get a, a real 
Liberty half out of it. I don't know. You know, if it's worth keeping, I might do it. It's pretty, but... Anyway, that's what I've got today. Um, thanks, everybody, for getting me to 250 subs. I appreciate it. I'm, a, I'm about to... Almost 260 today. Just picked up, like, 8 today. And that's that's really cool. I don't ever beg, borrow, or, or plead for... Uh, likes and subscriptions subscribes and all that sort of thing but if you want to like and subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate it i uh i'm picking up some good friends um and there's some new ladies channels out there that are uh that are going to be some up and coming stars i think and i want to be a part of them getting um their subscriptions up and and uh getting a mainstream um and i did i did uh i did want to mention one more time I don't know if he saw my video or not, but Jersey Silver Stacker, you got to go check his channel out. He is, uh, he's, um, he's got some fun races, some fun little, uh, you know, two, three, five dollar, eight dollar races, and uh, I won six, um, half dollars the other day, and, and it was way cool, and I really appreciated it. So, I'm starting to build a little bit more in back up on my, uh, on my constitutional I bought four rolls of halves I got nothing in there that I know of except I got 13 bicentennials they don't have a moon on them so I'm guessing they aren't any 40% uh, silver but uh, anyway I have to package those up and take them back or I'll Start throwing them at kids in the neighborhood or something that pissed me off. Whatever. <laughs> that might be a little fun. There's a couple. But that's it. That's all. And um, I really do appreciate everybody in the community. I really appreciate the support that everybody's given to me. Um, I've been kind of in and out a lot. We've got some uh, family medical stuff going on and all that sort of thing. Oops, there goes Raven. Uh, I did do uh, some a mail run today, and I got another mail run tomorrow. So, Nickel, you got a package coming, and what do you get the guy that's got everything? I just I don't know. So, this is um, this is a British coin. It seems like it's a very early, uh, probably copper penny that's uh been gold toned spray painted gold or something i don't know but it is a british coin um that was verified by tsc and uh i'm gonna find out exactly uh try and find out exactly what it is i love it it ain't going anywhere it's part of my uh permanent stuff now so everybody uh you know do the same thing i always tell you to do um, we got some hard times coming up, folks, so keep your eyes on the cross, and, uh, stay safe, shoot straight, keep stacking, and stack lots of stuff, y'all. Cranky's out. Angels.